Greetings and welcome back to Minecraft on the Banana Viking server once again. So, <clears throat> we've got the two big trees this. I'm going to ignore for a little while and the bamboo has grown a lot more than I was... Well, I was, I was not more than expecting but it's a more of a wall of uh, bamboo than I was expecting when I planted it. Alright, oh, it's been a while since I've been in the server. It's been a few weeks really. So let's take a quick look make sure our zombie friend is down here. <clears throat> because uh, I want to get him converted over into a villager. Well, there he is. I just heard him. Um... So, where are you? Hi. So get you converted over as soon as possible. Are you a lever like a blacksmith, any chance? Hmm. Yeah, I want to get you converted over into an actual villager as soon as possible. But to do that, <coughs> I think the best solution <coughs> is to now uh, chicken farm. Is to build in here a small little hut, um, and then sort of box it in, put a little trap in there. And then get him in there, trap him in there, because he'll follow me as a zombie, and then cure him when he's in that little trapped enclosure. I think that's the best option, is to just get him trapped inside. Um, the sun is also going down, so we're going to do a quick sleep, because then we have some daytime, and we can start get started. Now, before we do that, you might notice in that episode, we got ourselves some elytra, and... Thank you. We got ourselves some elytra, and we went to the end, we got a whole bunch of other stuff, <coughs> which is great. Are you hearing that? It's annoying. There's a window in the way, stop making noises. So, um, we're gonna before we even get round to freeing our zombie friend, we're going to we're gonna and we need to move these animals at some point. But we're gonna get ourselves access to our materials. Hi there, I see you and your friend. All right, so <coughs> we need to make a uh, ender chest to get our loot out of there. Now, I think we have a end or end, a blaze rod. There we go. Which we need for the thing. We also need obsidian. Um, <clears throat> now, I was. I was uh, mining around and I found some diamonds. Oh, look at that! Diamonds! And we got a mending efficiency book. So that's going to be awesome. So, and I've got it prepped here ready to go in case you didn't notice that. So let's first of all make our diamond pickaxe. Whoop! And whoop! And made. And then, <clears throat> around here we have an anvil, where we can drop our uh, enchantment on there. Boom. And boom. We now have a Mending Fortune 3 Efficiency 4 pickaxe. Excellent. So, the reason why I've done that now is because down in the mines, where we haven't been in a while, is a very nice blob of diamonds, which we're going to go and get now, if I forget. Ooh, that's a ready for a harvest, isn't it? So let's go and grab those now. We have to get rid of all these bamboos at some point as well. But for now, we're going to head down there, get rid of this, get these diamonds out of the ground. I think I should probably close the store at some point when I'm not uh, in here. In case something wanders in and then it's stuck in there forever. <clears throat> then comes and kills me when I'm not paying attention. Unless I'll be down here now so they kill me when I'm not paying attention. <clears throat> it's always a possibility. But anyway, get the diamonds. Just because I want them more than anything else right now. Okay, so the the torch on the floor are an indicator of where we need to be. So down here is my list of list of my stack of diamonds. You can see them just there and there. Excellent. Right. So there we go. Um, have that torch. I'd like to relight this area up. Boom. Uh, double check this area is safe. Because we just took a torch out of the ground, but it is. And um, we don't have any coal up there. Stuff. Right, that got six diamonds, by the way, out of that little block of ground. We have three blocks in total, and we got six. Excellent. This block over here is a little bit bigger, actually. I think I had to mine some of the first ones up to get enough to make the diamond pickaxe. So, here's our little stack of awesomeness. So, let's get you. Right, we had six in our inventory to begin with. There we go, we have 14! And the area is safe. I'm going to continue in here, but that's just to get the diamonds out of the ground. So we can uh, continue, and the, the mending, and the fortune, and the efficiency. Oh my god, I've been waiting for this pickaxe for so long. <coughs> so I'm going to put this pickaxe in a safe place. Uh, whoop. <coughs> As in, I'm going to leave it down here in the chest, because I don't need it up in the upstairs section. Um, I don't even need the diamond pickaxe when I come down mining right now. Uh, let's leave those actually open because it's still that tunnel's not actually finished. Uh, we didn't get any more tunnels done anyway. I mined a whole bunch of uh, 
access corridor for more mine for more tunnel mining. So we can do more mining much easier in the live streams and stuff like that when we do those. <coughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to leave the diamond pickaxe there so that it's uh, safe, basically. Now, I need obsidian. I'm an idiot. And we have lava. This <coughs> I'm an idiot. I came down to get obsidian. Didn't bring water with me, did I? I have a bucket and everything. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's get ourselves a bucket of water, head down there, and pour it all over the ground and get ourselves some obsidian. I haven't been through in a while, actually. Ba, ba, ba. There we go. Alright, head back down, get ourselves our obsidian. <clears throat> if I remember rightly, I need eight pieces of obsidian. We need to make a full circle, I think it is. Uh, and then blaze in the middle. I'm not 100% sure on that, so if we fail, then we'll be fine we failed. I also need an end pot. Uh, I need a um, never portal at some point, but that can wait a little bit longer. For now, we are just here to primarily get this chest and get our loot out of that chest. Because I put all the loot in the chest because it was a good idea at the time. Alright, which side do we go for? This side looks like the best side to go for. Uh, there's no torches over here, so we have to be careful about how much darkness is going to be in here. Uh, let's put the bottle there. Thank you. And torch, and torch, and torch. Is that all of it? Good. Give it to the overlay. Alright. Let's get ourselves some obsidian. Please don't be a lay below this. Please don't be a lay below this. Yay! No lay below it. Alright, one. Two. Oh, I'm so glad we got efficiency on this pickaxe as well. Three. Four. Five. Right, I literally see the bit of bottom corner screen right down there. Okay. The cobble went away pretty quickly though. My only problem with the with this with obsidian is you can't actually uh, see the breaking progress of it. But that's eight we need. Now if I just grab another enough one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, ten. So I need eighteen in total. That'll give me enough for a uh, for an end portal. It's not an end portal. That should give us enough for a um, never portal. So eighteen should be enough for both of them if my numbers are correct. Okay, three, three. So three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we need eight for the chest. That should be right then, yes. Boop. Perfect. Um this place still safe? Yes. Alright, um now we can leave. Ba, 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 da, ba. But since it's my only really good pickaxe, this pickaxe gets to stay here. I should have renamed it like Fortune or uh, something. Or Picky. Um I have enough levels. If you can think of a really good name for my uh, Fortune 3 Mending Efficiency Pickaxe, then do suggest it below uh, in the comments and I will think about renaming it. And that'll be interesting. I want to name all my good tools um, proper names, but we need name suggestions for those. Alright, okay, so, whoop. No, okay, thank you, server lag. You know what, let's do as I said there, we'll close that off. We do need to come in here at some point and uh, definitely have some bamboo at some point but for now we go back up and if I remember the recipe it is like I say just a I might be wrong we need a chest in there maybe let's have a look blaze rod needs to put into a powder powder I think powder was in the middle and it was like that new no. uh, do we need to make a chest first there's a new recipe magma balls what I can make magma cream but I don't have a slime ball, so no. Uh, I need wood to make a chest, I believe, as well. Uh, yes, we've got loads of spruce. Spruce, 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 spruce. Never have too many chests anyway, so if it doesn't need it, then at least we don't waste the stuff. I think it's that, and then that is it. No. Look, we, we all know. There you are. Oh, it's an eye of Ender. Oh, the eye of Ender's the thing I don't have right now. But I can make with the blaze powder. I need an ender pearl. I believe I have an ender pearl in one of these. There it is. Ender pearl. Now, if I remember rightly, it was an ender pearl and a blaze powder. 
makes the Eye of Ender. Then the Eye of Ender surrounded by Obsidian makes the chest. That's right, I knew we needed the blade power definitely for something. Now where to put this chest so I don't have a silk touch pickaxe. So that spot right there. It's almost perfect right there in my sort of area here. And look at all that. Oh, so much good stuff in there. I'm not paranoid, you are. Okay, so uh, let's leave some of this good stuff in there for now. But, because of binding. Unbreaking on, my, on the boots. Or, oh, why am I wearing boots? I'm wearing iron boots and they're almost broken. And um, we have fire affinity and um, mending. Okay, you and you. Off and off. On and on. There we go. Could do with some arm, uh, mending on the chest plate because they are expensive as diamonds go. But that's good. Uh, I'm going to put the iron crap armor back in there. It's just good to have some sat there if we need it. Shulker shells, yes. Uh, the elytra needs to stay in there for safety right now. Oh, salt took shovel. I can, I can get grass and everything. So much good stuff in here. I might just leave a lot of this stuff in there. Um, just as, as good loot stuff, really. But now, but the iron. I will take the iron out because I do need that in my uh, ingot chest here, so I know what I've got. Okay, and the blaze powder deck is a rare resource, and I'm gonna put the obsidian there for now. We'll make an end pot in. We'll make an ever bottle um, somewhere over there, as I don't want it anywhere near this area because of the noise it makes constantly. All right, let's go make ourselves some shulkers. So how many shulkers do we have? We think we can make. Is it six you can make with that? Let's find out. I think it's just chest and then two shells. I think that's the recipe. So we can make three of these little things for now. Boom. And then get some more wood. Wood, 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 wood. Uh, I got some spruce. Oh, I got a lot of oak though. One, two, three. I think three. Yeah. Three is going to be enough to get all these shells converted. Boom. Look at the chokers. Yes. All right. <clears throat> it's not dark, things will start spawning, but I don't care. I'm going to place all these on the ground so that we've got them here for now. And most of the time I can look at them and go, oh, are they pretty? At least when we, uh, especially when we uh, convert them with colour. I love the animation as well. If you haven't seen shulkers before, the shulker boxes are chests, standard issue chests, nothing special about that. Except when you break them, the content stays inside the box and you can then carry it around with you. Which makes them special because you can actually like backpacks. So they're great. And you can dye them different colours if you have colour dyes, so it's great. I'm going to be taking these mining with us so we can bring resources back in larger quantities when we get around to them. Diamonds, 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 diamonds. Need to go into the uh, the chest there. We have two crafting tables. Wow, okay. Uh, and we are good on all of that. The glass should not be in there. Glass should be in with the sand. That's where glass goes. Boom, see? Uh, so stack that like that, and stack you like that, so we have spaces for stuff when we get it, in case we need more space for stuff and have to manually move stuff around. Okay, uh, we. Boop. Right, uh, I don't know where I did the top line, it wasn't needed. Shulkers are done! That is done. Our ender chest is ready, and we can now get all the stuff out of its autumn. The end rod, I do like these, these are great for lighting up places. In fact, I'm gonna just take one out. Ah! Over there! And just. Can they go on the roof? I've never actually tested these. They can go on the roof. Ooh. See, I like about you can put them on the roof, you can put them on the wall. You can put them on the side like that, it's like they're making a bar. The drip, weird goo. And of course, you can put them on the floor. And they act as a light source, which I think is awesome for what I want to be doing, which is lighting the place up with something other than torches. Oh, I do, for the most part, I will be using um, lanterns at some point. Um. So we will be using lanterns at some point. You can get please. Golden apples out of there. Um, let's get the uh, let's leave the armor in there. It's the curse of binding, but I'd rather have curse of binding than nothing, right? Um, put the gold in there and put the apples in that one. Yes. Boop. All right. So we've got all that done. We got end rods in there. Where are I getting nine end rods in there? They must be near my personal inventory when I came back. Uh, okay. Uh, let's put the wood back away so we're not carrying wood. Boop, no. There we go. And you would be in there, my spruce friend. Okay. 
that is all done and that can go out of my invent of my hotbar because we all know anything in the hotbar can accidentally be clicked on not much on the line of uh, mobs today I see fair so let's go and give ourselves a nice sleep get some daytime up and we can we can uh, start looking at our next task of the day and by next task of the day I mean probably our first real task of the day because there was stuff has been stuff that we could do really be easy Okay. Thank you. So, the plan for today is to figure out how we're going to get our zombie friend upstairs. Now, obviously, it'll have to be done at night. That's not a end of the world question. But you want the building here. <clears throat> I think first start, I'll just put a little area around here. Uh, and we'll expand it out to a bigger building. Because I want to have a, a sort of a house back there. For them to sort of go inside at night and be safe. And then out here, I have their work area. So it'll be like a... A little wall, maybe, I'm not sure what we'll do, it's going to be a walkway here, it's a bit narrow, but give them a, a walkway. The thing is, really, so this should be our walkway, this is our, where we're going to be, so you come down here, and then your room's here, and then you'd have the main sort of thing here, so it's like that, we get the, the bedrooms there, yeah. I'm not quite sure how it's going to lay out, we've been so close to the fence here, but I'm sure we'll figure that out as we get to it. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll get that. But it's going to be inside this little tread here. <clears throat> I'm not sure what we're going to do these middle lines because they're going to be kind of uh, problematic, but they could be useful for redstoning. Uh, I want to get this, keep the dead. Okay, so let's go get some materials and start building this wall out. Now, ideally, we want to spruce because that's what the material we're using for walls over there. So keep that in line. And I don't know what this, this village is going to be, whether it'll be a blacksmith or what, but uh, we need to get them some stuff as well. All right, so starting point. Um. We need, I'm going to take a couple of stacks of uh, of these. I don't think we'll need all of them, but I'm going to take them anyway. And I'm going to take one of those spare crafting benches that randomly stayed in my chest over here. So we can craft while we're over there. Don't worry, buddy, we're making you a home. So to make to, to make the trap itself, we'll just need a, a, a piston and a couple, a couple of pistons and a, uh, that down there. a couple of pistons and a and a sand block. That should be all we really need to get started with. Now that's going to be my chicken farm, so you're going to be here. And I want it to be staggered in one. Now it can be staggered in one, but it doesn't need to be staggered in one on this side, because these can literally be in line. Like that. As long as the wall here is staggered in one for the depth to make these look like they stick out. That will work well. Yes. Because inside here it doesn't really matter if these are lined up smooth. Because they're going to be between buildings, and it doesn't mean they don't need to make them smaller than they currently are going to be. All right, so let's get you done as well. Boop, 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 boop. That's going to be the perimeter wall, and then I mean, you don't really need a double door, do you? We should give you a double door though. Every room should have a double door if we can support one, because double doors are amazing. Oh, we offset the doors. I do like offset doors though. Yes, I do like offset doors. If you're going to offset a door, though, it has to be offset by more than just one block because one block makes it look like it's uh, wrong. So if we bring, if you've got these stairs, a chicken farm door is there, then your door will be there. So that's where your door will be. All right. So this is your room where you're going to be doing all of your work, like that. So it's a nice long room when you walk in. Woo. and it'll be like room and at the end there'll be a doorway at the end you can walk out and onto the balcony which is why I want to give them a sort of a segmented off piece where they can run inside and lock themselves in at night so they don't get killed because I know the villagers like to go inside and do stuff um, so we'll do that so doors will be there which means we're going to need at least that that's the minimum for a door. That's fine. How tall is this building? It's been... Stop it. How tall is this building? It's been a while since I've built a room in this place. One, two, three, four, five. And internal diameter of room are one, two, three, four, and a half. Yes, half slabs on the roof. So four high walls. Five high walls with a slab roof is how we build all of our walls. That is great. I need to get some more. I need to get some more of those as well. So one two three four five high for a slab roof oh wonder why I wasn't placing them I 
can do these. Don't do that piece just yet, but uh, that should be two more here. One, two. We need to get a um, couple of spruce logs to do the wall pieces, and then we'll be good. Now we do want to, I want to have windows in these painting into the rooms as well, so they're not just monolithic walls of horror. But uh, that'll have to come as soon as we have uh, a basic shape and design ready. He says, building a basic shape and design. Damn it. Give me one more. There we go. Right, this is the height of the room itself. Coming down. Always take a bit of damage. So when you walk through this door, you'll see that room. And so that's going to be a nice big room. It's fairly narrow. In fact, depending on the chicken farm, I might knock your room into uh, here and make the buildings, the villagers sort of have like L-shaped rooms because that would be kind of cool as well. That way they can have the room for all the crafting stuff in here and then like the bedroom will be back over that side. Ooh, that would be a bad idea. But yeah, these are also way too uh, monolithic wall-wise, so they need something to separate them out. Um, let's go and get ourselves some spruce logs. Because I need those for the roof. Don't worry, you'll be out there by next episode, because today's going to be building your captured place, and then we're going to have to figure out how to get you in there. Uh, not you, spruce. Spruce. Thank you. That will do just, just dandy. So the plan is uh, pistons on the ground, um, a pressure plate in the middle, in a three so piston, pressure plate, piston, and on top of the piston is um, sand blocks. Make it a walled area. Zombie, wa uh, zombie walks in, steps some pressure plate, whoosh, sand block comes up, sand block comes up, but zombie can't move. Cure them inside the little trapped area, and then uh, <clears throat> now that they're trapped in there, they get cured, break the sand block. And then the, 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 uh, the now now a non-zombie villager walks out, and they're in their little room. And this dog's going to be an iron dog, so I do not want them wandering around the upper base. All right, so um, inside here is going to need lights temporarily on the floor until we find permanent lighting. Check around the outskirts as well, because we did break, block off some of the light on these walls. There we go, good. Uh, ooh, check the other side of that uh, wall as well. All right, break these. Nothing broke there, good. And then up, 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 one more, because I like to keep these lit like that. All right, uh, you as well. Coming down. Oh, you're going to hurt me every time now, aren't you? Uh, you need a torch there. And up, 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 one more. Torch. And, oh, good, you don't have a uh, torch on, so I can just do this. <laughs> ah! No matter the torches. Damn it. Damn it. Okay. It hurts. It hurts more than you think. So build this one up. One more. Build this one up. Let's put a torch there. And then we've got that one there to do. Ouch. But I need torches. So let's go make dinner. Make some torches, come on back up there, and build the last of that. No torch in there? No. So I need a bit of coal, which would be in the bottom chest. That's not the bottom chest that I wanted. 30 of those uh, sticks are in. There. Give me, oh, I went to the crafting bench, I can literally do this in my inventory. Give me a whole bunch of torches, put the sticks back in their stick storage area. Is it getting dark? No, it's not. I thought it was getting dark because I was inside. Oh. So, look, we're making a house. Oh, we need to iron door still. Ah! Uh, you. Floors are good here. Ooh, yes. One for you. Was there any on the other side? I need. Yes, yeah, look at that. Boom. I'm not putting this end piece on just yet because this end piece is supposed to be like an open area but I might have put a fence across there that will stop me getting in with a gate maybe to get through it uh, I don't really want to do the gate thing but I don't want the zombies the zombie, I don't want the villager running around 
the upper level because I want to make sure they stay near their uh, their thing. All right, let's get that uh, wall piece up. I've been watching some Minecraft streamers, and it's amazing how many streamers don't use the uh, middle click to place a uh, to pick a block really quickly. Uh, I always watch them like this, and they're like across, grab a thing, and then so let's say there's no spruce there. They come along and go, oh, um, I need to place a spruce block. Inventory, move that to there, and click. But I have always just gone middle click, boom, brings it to the front into the selected block. As long as you point it at a block and you press the middle click scroll wheel down, it just selects the item. So click, 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 click. It's really nice and simple. You need to put a torch on that. Also, it works with torches. Boop, see? Torches. Boop. It's a very useful tool, and I'm actually surprised by the number of people that don't use that feature. I don't know how it's been there, but I've used it for a long while. Right, we need slabs to do your roofing. And we need to come up there and deal with lighting on here as well, which I completely forgot about when I placed these up here. Ouch. So let's make some uh, slabs. I mean, I slept last night. So don't even think about it. Alright. Oh, no, I need more. No, no. Ah, there we go. That'll do. Boom. 48 slabs. You know what? I'm going to sleep. Because I'm about to place... Ah! Where are you? Um... Hi. Can I trade with you? Not when you're invisible. Ah, there we go. Alright, uh, not a shell, cactus, shell, diet, and orange tulip, and a bucket of puffers. You know what? I don't need your uh, stuff. Although I would like to block you guys in. Um, but sleep, 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 sleep. And we can... Uh, thank you. Do our thing. Hey, does, he, does he drink the potion as soon as night falls? Because uh, that's kind of curious. Now, it's possible we can get spawns up there when we've got this. That's why I went daytime up. Um, yeah, I'm going to just ignore you for a moment. Um, but I do have a desire. A desire to grab these blocks over here that I placed down for no reason at all. That don't exist here for any reason at all. There's no reason why there are... Uh, Fence posts just sat here. Completely out of character. I found out why they disappeared, by the way. They disappeared because the, uh, they weren't named. Right, can I get you both into a position where I can... Probably, actually. Yep, that'll do it. <laughs> I mean, I can't get through there to build my wall, but you ain't getting out of there with those uh, those guys. Now, I probably could kill him. I don't want to kill him, because I don't want to trigger any kind of negative uh, event. So let's get the roof on here. Now, the plan still is maybe we should look at doing a third roof, um, a third height. That's my plan. Um, so one thing we can be doing, we can have another final level above this level, that's way up there, and acts right across the water as well, which I think would look absolutely awesome. Can you walk over here? I don't care which way you walk, as long as you're away from them. Okay, but you be awkward and I'll just do this. I need to get up there and put a torch on the roof of this as well so we don't get things spawning on the roof. Uh, yeah, I didn't make enough. I wasn't sure if I just didn't make enough or whether I um, got some in my image bar. Boom! That's a lot more. <laughs> this needs some windows in as well, which I need to uh, figure where I want the windows to be. Damn it. Thank you. Yeah, I need I need windows in this as well. So there's going to be there we go. There's going to be windows. 
got away. Hi, my friends. I could use some name tags. I didn't pick up a string though. Normally you don't string when you break them over, apart from there, friends. Get some name tags down there. I can't remember what we named those two, so that's an interesting thing. Name tags. Name tags, name tags, name tags, name tags, name tags. If you were a name tag, where would you be? Name tags! One, two. Alright, uh, what did I name you two first of all? Let's quickly run out there, figure out what we named you two. Because that's important. If, if, we, if we have a, a bit of a theme, we need to keep that theme going. Don't think we did, but it might be community members, I don't know. You're Chewpacca, and you are. No problema. Okay, so we're going with puns. Puns it is. Uh. Da, 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 da. I am horrible with names, so I'm going to name tag both of them with just generic tags. Um, and if we can come up with better names, which are, invariably you will be able to, then do let me know what we should call them. So we'll call you D A L A Dalai. That's one. And you, my friend, would be, and you would be named after the server. Banana Llama. So we have Banana Llama, Dalai Llama, um, and the other two we have before. So we have No Problama, we have No Problama, we have Chewbacca. <coughs> uh, we'll then have you, my friend, over here will be Dalai Llama, and you are Banana Llama. There we go. So you two won't despawn either. <clears throat> now I just want to get you all in one place and protect you in a better way because right now we've got two outside, two inside. So I need to move you to better places so then you get leads and stuff like that. That's not a problem right now. Uh, I also need some better... I got the leads! Ah. <clears throat> I didn't do them on my inventory mail. Right, so right now get an iron, an iron door for that wall. A button to open the door because um, that's something I need. And then we're, the building is basically prepped for him, for the guy. Um, some kind of doorway on the end here, I'm not sure what we'll do. Probably mostly, maybe just a glass wall, actually. What's that glass door is like? We have enough glass to make a glass pane wall. Yeah, that's a, that's a possibility. Uh, I just need a very simple dirt block. Dirt block, thank you. Uh, let's go for a full, full stack. I need that to uh, get on the roof and put some torches up there. So we don't lose every the button. Don't run up there without. I have spruce. Spruce makes a nice. Should make a nice dark button. Hopefully, uh, I don't want to use buttons at the same color. I don't want to use um, iron buttons. Damn it, iron <laughs> for the door. Oh, I am everywhere today. I actually believe I have a couple of iron doors already in the box somewhere. Yes, I do. Just one iron door, please. Alright, uh, we do need to put windows in the sides of these rooms as well, but they'll, they'll wait until we know what's going in where. Um, so the door goes this side, like that. Good, I like my doors to be recessed slightly in. And the buttons, which my craft bench is on the other side of this wall. Damn you! <laughs> can I make a button in here? I can, okay. So I don't actually need that. So put that there. Give me one of those. Give me one, two buttons. Button number one. There. Button number two, there. Excellent. And the amount of time you can get through, that's why I wanted the wooden button, because iron buttons don't open off. I could put it there maybe, but for now I'll leave it where it is. That's done. Now, on this piece here, um, we're going to need... A minimum of at least make that into a double block like that. I need to get up there as well to make sure it's not a uh, spawnable space, which it is going to be. Oh, actually, not too many spawnable spaces on this one right there, one right there. Perfect. All right, coming down, coming down, coming down. <laughs> 
Flipping game blocked in there as well. <laughs> Alright, let's convert some of this glass into panes. Uh, da, 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 da. 16, 32, 48. It should do us. So, what I'm going to do is a starting point here. Is I'm going to put a line across there of normal blocks and then windows all the way up. So if I just push you inside for a moment, I might be able to try and keep you around as a, as a, as a person. Of interest. Oh god, no. Get away! Inside! Inside the building! Inside! Inside the building! No! No way! I hate you so much. Night time. I don't want him disappearing or anything. I want to see if I can trap him inside the building. I don't think I can. I think he can just like, teleport away. Axe goes there. Could you set already? Ah. There we go. He's probably already drunk his potion and he's invisible already. But, sleepy. Up we go. Back to the door. And there he is. You teleport when you do that, don't you? I can't actually keep you if I wanted to. Alright, well, in that case, uh, let's see. There, there, there. There. Whoop. But for now, it's going to be a big window. Which it might end up being big windows for everything because it might just look awesome with windows. Or it could look horrible with windows. I don't actually know how it will look. But I want to make sure it's got a lot of uh, visible room in here. And I might end up changing these windows out for stained glass if it looks better. No. no, I hate breaking glass. But there we go, look at that. Ooh. Actually, that's not bad. The new mod pack, not my pack, the new graphics pack that came out, um, we get through these lines that were horrible in the other ones and the little white lines between them. It looks so much better like that. And I might even be able to get rid of these little diagonal ones as well. Okay, so what we need to do is just make a hole there when we bring the guy up. Uh, you know what, let's make that hole now. And we'll just pop these two blocks there so I know I've got them up here when I need them. Get them inside here. And the primary thing is going to be get them inside here, get them stuck in here. So we need to set up a little trap. This is going to be on this side. So we need to lure him. Basically, what we need to do is lure the zombie up here during the night, have him follow us, then get him in here. And when we come around here, we need to run around the corner, get ourselves into position, so he'll come towards us and he'll go through the trap. So that's not going to be hard to do. So the trap is simple. It's uh, block, 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 like that. Bah, bah, bah. But I don't care about anything above him because he's not going to be outside. It needs to be these two high so we can get inside, like that. And like that. Uh, doesn't need it, but let's put that one on there anyway. Yep. So you can come in here, step on the pressure pad, which is going to be there. That'll trigger a piston that side, piston that side, which I'm going to need to uh, yeah. Yeah, put in the ground, basically. Um, well, we have the room to build it up. We can actually give it a step, couldn't we, if we needed to. But yeah, piston there, piston there, playing with sand on top. So they need to be sunk into the ground, so it'll come in here. So it needs to be sunk into the ground by two squares. That's not a problem. We can do that below the floor. In fact, it will need to be... Ah! Ha-ha! <laughs> Perfect. The, uh, the redstone floor is going to be what we use for it. Perfect. So this is the trap. I need, I need to make some pistons. And get the sand blocks in place and everything else. I get all that prepped up. Next episode, we'll do all of that. And uh, once all that's done, I will lure the zombie up here and we'll cure him. And then we'll figure out what we're going to make him do. I think he's already a blacksmith. So whether we keep him as a blacksmith or we give him another job, I don't know. I have to investigate who would be the best uh, one to have. <clears throat> but for now, the the room is basically ready. We just need to get the, uh, the, 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 the functional parts of the trap up and running. And then lure our friend up here. Excellent. All right. Well, until next time, when we uh, will eventually do that. Cool. Uh, and we get up here and we get a zombie in here and get him trapped. Then then we convert them. That'll be the next episode. So when we go and do that, let me know what you think of uh, a name. Well, we have a name. My name is obviously the Brown and Ranalobian. I think we call it. But what should what what uh, job should we give them? Should we give them what what's the best task to give them? Do you think? 
Let me know what you think, and we will uh, give, we'll try and get that task set up. So next episode, get the uh, zombie in here, uh -huh. uh, them do some more stuff. I might talk that down next episode, or maybe wait until we do a live stream. Um, but this will be our first inside piece, and then we get some. Once we've got the villager in here, uh, we can give them the, the, the benches to use, and then we can put some maybe some side windows in here uh -huh. to make it less of a boring room for them, and decorate it a little bit for them as well, because I want them to have pretty rooms. My bedroom is a bit plain, but I'd like them to have prettier rooms. I'd love to keep you captive, but you're going to just teleport away at some point. I would buy some lime dye, but I can make that relatively easy myself. All right. Well, until next time. I'm just fall down there. I need to put a fence around that. Until next time, let me know what you think of the game. What you think of my uh, videos of this game? And until next time, comments in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.